there is a new app uh, for consensual sex. So you know there's a gajillion apps. <laughs> we all know about Grindr and Tinder, GPS-based apps. You find somebody that wants the same stuff that you want and you're within 12 feet of them <laughs> and you get to do your thing. But now there is an app. Uh, let's take a look at it right now. It is called Good to go, and what good to go is, it's not GPS based. This is just if you are, if you know somebody. So let's pretend you're, you're a college, you're at a party, you decide you're gonna hook up with somebody. Uh, you guys both go into your app and you basically agree to say that you're gonna have consensual sex. And it's a, you know, there's a, you can see right there on the right side, uh, whether you're sober, mildly intoxicated, intoxicated but good to go, pretty wasted. Um, and basically, uh, it, this is a consent thing. This is not who you're gonna, you know, this is not meeting somebody. This is just about consent. I mean, so it seems good intention, <laughs> right? Like we, we, we do a lot. There's all these terrible stories about rape and all this horrible stuff. Is this really gonna prevent a rapist? <laughs> right, because what rapist is going to download the rape app? So we'll yeah, and, then, and, you, and you bring up a good point. Is this going to prevent a rapist? And I think when you look at the data that the app is collecting, um, probably not because it's really it's really interesting when you look at the, the fact that the data um, being collected is all of the affirmative data so whenever you have cases of yes I consent yes I consent the app keeps it but when you have cases of no consent the app does not store that data which I found what? really yeah, which that's is, what I found so really the whole point of this app so that somebody could show it in a courtroom exactly so, so, so show it in a courtroom but it would only essentially favor that the accused not a victim <laughs> that's so crazy um, so, so I have a problem with that and when you say this is a consent app I think this is more of a data app because really what they're doing is asking you for your information um, you know how your what your sexual behavior is like intoxication your age email addresses so that's where I think um, you know, this company is looking to make money. I really don't think they care about consent. It's yeah. So okay. So let's go to the to skeptical. the data part of it because yeah, every every week we do something else on the NSA or data or Google's collecting your data. Someone's looking at you through your webcam. The, this is the last bastion. Stay out of my bedroom. Also, I'm sorry. It's not hot. The, it's right, not sexy. Nothing, like yeah. I'm not gonna like. I just I. I if somebody handed me their phone and they're like, do you, I'm like, I'm not in the mood have anymore. The creator, <laughs> I'm like, this, now I have to say no because you pulled out the fucking app. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Have the creators of this app ever had sex? I mean, it's just like. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever been like, oh, would you like to have sex? Yes. Would oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure. I would like to have sex. Like that Blow just doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just crazy. Uh, <laughs> and right. So the data part of this, though. So yes, it's not sexy, like yeah. for sure. Or it's just, you know. I keep getting um, you off. Yes, the data. Keep, I don't want to give the NSA this information. Yeah, right. Is that <laughs> it? Like at the end of the day, too? Like now we're just giving everybody more. Now we're literally bringing them into the bedroom. And, and, and then there's a potential for abuse here, too, right? So that that's the other part that really concerns me, for, you know, besides the taking out the sexy part of it, whatever, right? Yeah. Um, there's a potential for abuse because if, say, I were really intoxicated, I, I don't think that I'd be able to, like, hold my phone and, like, click on the functions that I'm supposed to click on and the fourth prompt saying yes or whatever, and the person next to me, if not right. intoxicated, can. So they can easily take my phone, they easily punch take a button. Totally. Yeah, uh, what's to say that they can't fill it out for you? Exactly. You're half awake and you go, wait, wait, what's your email address? You, you're like, you, you just get, like dribble it out and they like, put it in, and that's the proof? You get roofied? Yeah. I mean, it's insane. Do you guys think that the technology is ruining sex, basically? <laughs> really, like that you can get the type of sex you want automatically that easily that they have you know this type of app that all this stuff that it really is changing sex like really really this fast. app is ruining sex for yeah. sure but I think it takes all types I would not want to live in a world that didn't have vibrators right you know that's technology that I think <laughs> really? revolutionized sex so yeah. um, it, it definitely it takes Thank all you types for keeping and your phone above the table I don't my phone is not on vibrate it would just be too exciting yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no but I, I definitely think it takes all types and it depends on who you are and whether or not it works for you. I mean, there's some, you know, tech technology that's made sex awesome. Look, the, there's some technology that, yes, is totally a huge bummer. The yeah. thing I like about this app is that it's bringing awareness to consent, right? And, you know, California just passed its first consent law where yes, mean yes, yes means yes, and universities, college students need to get an affirmation. So, uh, what, I have so many thoughts on that, but I think that the point here is that we do have a culture where, um, you know, rape or different variations of sexual assault are more and more permitted, mm -hmm. and this is elevating the conversation, saying we need to do something about it. So, perhaps this is a, this is a misguided attempt, but it's well intentioned.